Hello viewers. Test. Hello viewers. Um, today for my video, or today for this video, I am recording this again on the Panasonic camera onto a DVD player. But I found a bunch of these manuals, and I thought I'd show these off. So these are some of the components that are actively in the system. So we have speak or like some of the manuals. Speaker manual. These two are a bit newer. And you have a bunch of these other manuals and stuff. So these are kind of some of the documentation. Hold on. I okay. It's mono audio, so it's gonna be hard it might be a bit awkward. I'm sorry, this is just how this camera is. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd go through some of these. So let's start off first. Um, this is the speaker that this guy is referring to. So, opening this up, I'll see if I go back to the back, the back first. Um, you can see this is Sir Win Vega, HTS6, HTS5, HTCTR, which is probably this. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the first page of it. Sorry if it's so shaky. I'll just go through show some of the diagrams and stuff. My camera died for a second there. Um, this is some of the diagrams for it. about Dolby Digital for Dolby Sound Surround Decoders. To hold, this is mentions VCRs or Laserdisc players. Um, 
you can see some of the setups that they have. Some of the specifications. Okay, on to the next thing. Here is the TXNR 777 quick start guide. On to the next thing. LG TV setup guide. All right. Sorry for that last pause there. Something's happening. Anyway, this is for the rear speakers in this system. Um, these were. Nineteen ninety nine, Tandy Corporation. This is the center channel. Well, the second funny channel, I should say. So the channel, the center channel is um, catalog number 404057. This is 404088. Um, you can see three years or six years difference, sorry. Six year difference between like the logos and stuff. Alright, on to the next one.
This is a um, Serwin Vega. Um, it looks like an advertisement catalog. Um, these speakers are the ones that are the new, the ones that are installed in the system now. The two, the, the front left and front right. Um, It's made with a special kind of paper. Yeah, some of these claims are very interesting. <laughs> Evidently, this can go up to, I guess, 20 kilohertz. Oh, wow. Because while you may not be able to solve all the world's problems every now and then, all the world's problems, every now and then, you can certainly drown them out. 1991. On to the next manual. I forgot to show some of these diagrams and stuff, sorry.
Hopefully you can read that. Alright, now on to the next manual. Alright, and last, or not last, but there's still one more thing. But now we have the stereo cassette, SCT 86 stereo cassette deck. Um, another Optimus thing. Right there. Um, so this kind of describes, so like, um, tells you that you have level control, tape select, so select switch type of tape, um, there'll be noise reduction, and full auto stop. Okay, so this kind of looks... Not what I usually think of when I think of a patch cable, but whatever. I usually just think of these as RCA cables. There's some of the connections that you'd make to your amp. <laughs> Connecting your cassette deck. Connect. Load in the cassette. Playing the cassette. This is interesting. Technology Connections did a video about different tape types. I might, I think I'll link it in the video description if I remember to. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's a very interesting video as to why these are here. Normal CR02 and metal. Different. More different selectors, tape counter, level indicators, and more. Erasing a tape. How Dolby noise reduction works. As the recording is being made, the Dolby NR system samples the music to find places where the listener might later be able to hear tape noise. When the Dolby system finds such a place, it automatically increases the recording level so that the sound is recorded louder than normal. When this tape is later played back on a cassette deck encrypted with Dolby NR, the loudness is automatically reduced at all the places where it was increased during the recording. This reduces the music to its original loudness and also reduces the tape noise by the same amount, usually enough to make the noise inaudible. I think technology can actually do a video on that. I will, again, Put in something about, okay, this is about protecting your recordings and stuff. And I like this here. When you use a bulk tape eraser, removal of the cassette erase protection tabs does not prevent erasure of the cassette. Here's some of the, like, the inside of the Unit, care and maintenance, and specs. Sorry, it's taking a couple seconds to focus. Sorry about the shakiness. This isn't recorded on my phone.
Alright, and then there's this guy. Oh, that's fine. So, Tandy. We service what we sell. All right, it cut out for a second, but we're back. Anyway, um, here is this. I'm guessing this is the equivalent to that guy right there. That switch that I showed in, the pre in one of the pre previous videos. This is the control center. Another Radio Shack product, of course. So it's just different. I'm going to show you through this. Oh, I equalized. I was confused for a minute. Specs. Schematic. Ooh. And I might have to scan this later. Anyway, that's all the manuals that I have for these at the moment. Um, if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day. Hello viewers. Um, today we're recording again on the analog camera. Because I think it fits the type of video that I'm doing. I have some more old manuals and documentation for some of the stuff. This is all the this is all Zenith documentation right now. So I think for the first, we're gonna start off with the TV documentation for the old TV that was here. Our Zenith System Three color TV. Hold on. So this is like I remember this. This is the front panel control. Actually, a very nice front panel control compared to like most modern TVs. Even TVs of the era, I don't think, had all these controls on them. This diagram. Describes how to use the remote. Things about more about the remote um, cable TV operation diagram for what your cable TV channels are. More about the get best color ready plug, which is the F, which is an F type connector. They call it the ready plug, I guess, but this is just the F-type connector. 
coax. And just like a troubleshooting table. Um, warranty and stuff. Alright, now we have this um, VHS ad book. Um, This is just describing some of the features of these VCRs. So here's the basic models. More advanced models. Sorry, I had to go for away for a second. Um, and then over here, this is their forehead model. Um, much more advanced model than these. These are just the basic model. They're like you could say um, better grade of. Um, forehead VHS players, and they have a six head VHS player. And they also have this this guy, this vertical VHS player, six head, and this Teletex compatible. VHS player. And here's some of their camcorders. Alright, here is a uh, VCR manual. First, you have like the basic things, you give them a lot of these, you know, about how to ground it and stuff. Accessories, that sort of thing. Pro things about its programming. Etc. How to wire it up. 